Hello, dog bed sit blogger here, and uh, I'm going to do a bit of a chili taste test today. And I'm going to be doing something which is perhaps a little bit different. It's not a sauce, it's a butter. Uh, this is from Burning Desire Foods. You can go to their website and have a look there. And this is a chipotle chili butter. And uh, the ingredients are South Downs butter, chipotle chilies, uh, Aleppo chilies, salt, and made from the finest quality butter from Bookham's Farms in West Sussex. So, nice little uh, pack, very nicely packed there. And I've had this for a little while. Um, Jason gave this to me at the Shoreham Chili Festival and uh, I did try some there and it was very nice. Ah, yes, you freeze frame there. Now, um, something I forgot to say, there's three different types of chili butter that Burning Desire make. There's a Piri Piri one, that has a quite a lemony flavor. There's a Naga one, uh, I think it's a King Naga uh, chili one, which is has a lot more of that burning King Naga heat. And, uh, and there's the chipotle one, which I can sell. You can start again now, okay? Lovely, bye. In fact, one of my earliest memories is from uh, eating butter. I remember hanging out with our cat called Leo and practically eating half a pack of butter that was on the table, just sticking my finger in it and then giving the cat a bit, and then I'd have a bit. Um, I can't, I can't, I think I was I remember talking to the cat and uh, you know, there was something, we, it was an emergency, so we had to eat the butter or else we couldn't leave the room. And, um, and then when my mum and dad found this massive big hole, finger hole in the middle of the butter from where me and the cat had been eating it, um, the, they were a little, annoyed <laughs> so um, I know I can eat butter oh yes so uh, let's uh, let's crack this open so take the label off it's got a bit of tape on here Is what the pack of butter looks like. You can see lots of bits of a. Uh, um, you can see lots of bits of chipotle chili in there. Let me just take a bit of it, just as a taste. You know, a little chunk there. Mmm. So the first thing you get is a lovely smokiness of the chipotle chi chili good amount of heat not not nothing too alarming but it's a good nice under the tongue heat just about there and in general mouth really good flavor you can still taste the butteriness looking really good something that I'd recommend this if you're a fan of the film nine and a half weeks <coughs> Who is that clueless idiot? Everyone knows the film with the butter thing was Last Tango in Paris. I'll let him continue. Just let's hope there's no more mistakes. Please don't buy this butter. But if you like a bit of chilli, buy this butter. It's very, very tasty. And what would you use it for? Well... How about on toast your chili head breakfast? Let's put a little bit more on. <gasps> oh, it is the weekend, so you can go a bit crazy with the butter. Hmm. Mmm. 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 
How about stirring some into some couscous? Nom 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 nom. Mm mm. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. How about chucking a lump in some sweet potato mash? Oh, look at that. That looks pretty good. Mmm, the sweet potato works so well. It really brings out the chipotle smokiness. And, oh, that is, that is being particularly good. I think that's the best thing I've done with it so far. So there's a few things that you can do with some uh, Burning Desires chilli butter. 